was created from when, when the king saw the, you know, the great great parent of these uh, Saudis, you know, the, 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 the Saudis, uh, uh, the royal family, when their great parent was with, with Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab, right? So he said, you Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab, bring, bring your Islam, bring your knowledge, I'm going to protect you with what? With the sword. So that's how they were able to conquer all of these seven areas in, uh, in Saudi Arabia, which we know today. Because in Saudi Arabia, it used to be what? Small provinces, but with the help of the King Saud, along with what? Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab. That's why some people, you know, when they say they are, they are Wahhabi, you know, they are referring to what? Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab. So what Askia Muhammad did is he take the ulama as the roots of what? Of his kingdom. He give them power. He give them land. He say, okay, so as a result, many, many scholars start moving to Islam. Everybody wants something that's easy, right? Do you want something which is difficult? Everybody wants something that's easy. So some, the scholars start what? Start moving to Timbuktu. They start moving to what? To the area of uh, Jede to spread about uh, Islam. But he did not stop there. He knows that he, he needs to be more proactive than what Mansa Musa did. So not only he gave a land, so if they give you a land, you used to be on another city, you don't have a land. They give you a land, they give you a gift. So it means they are making you to what? To stay. Right? So when you stay, it means you are going to what? To get married, right? When you get married and you have a children, are you going to move? You won't move, you're going to stay forever. So he said, he used one of the ulama of that time, and that ulama is from what? He's from, I think he's the, from the region of Morocco and Chad. His name is Muhammad Al Magali. He's the scholar who changed the, the West Africa. His name is Muhammad Al Magali. He's a scholar in the time of Sunni Ali. Sunni Ali punished him because his fatwa was against him. So when Askia Muhammad took over, Askia Muhammad called, take him one as his what? His right hand. So what Askia Muhammad did is this. As a king, he will go. He will go to the what? To this scholar. He will take a pen and start asking him questions. And ask him Muhammad Turi. Can you imagine? He become a student. He's taking notes. What is Islam? He wrote down. So he wrote all of these basic things about Islam, compiled them in the books, and spread them in the kingdom. So from there, people start tasting what? People start tasting what is what? The true Islam. So by doing so, not only his kingdom wants to be based from Quran and Sunnah, he surrounded himself with, what, with scholars. He said, no, there is one thing. Mansa Musa did. I need to do that too. I need to make my famous Hajj. So he said, okay, let me go to Hajj too. So he surrounded all of the scholars and they went to, what? They went to make Hajj. So before he, he went there to make Hajj, all of the area in Sudan, in Egypt, even in Saudi Arabia, people already were hear about his kingdom. Allah Akbar. So he telling us, all you need to do is do good. Don't worry about the campaign. You don't have to go and buy any campaign. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will please your name where people don't even know you. He does not even know that his name is far from the boundary of his kingdom. People already know about him. So when that time, the, he decided to make Hajj, and he made his Hajj in 1497, when the United States of America was what? Just discovered. When you look below, you're going to see the historical overview. And that's where the Ewa, 1492. All of this we will be talking, America does not exist yet. And we are in America now, right? And we are talking about death. So all you need to do good when you die, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make people to make dua for you. He does not even know that there is going to be somewhere called America that people are going to be even talking about him. So what you need to do now is what? Do good. Do good. Your saving won't save your children. Your 401k won't save your children. Right? All you need to do good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of your children. Your 401k, your whatever, you are not sleeping, you need to save this. You are. Take it easy. Follow Allah. A man, as Allah mentioned in the Quran, in Surah al Kaf, because he was a good man. He had small children. Uh, before he died, he put something under the wall, under the ground. So the master is knowledge, and the master is, is a risk. And because this wall is going to fall down, if it falls down, those people are going to benefit. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent how many? Two messengers. Khidr and Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. To what? To fix it. Can you imagine? So be good. Be good after your death. That's why Allah says, Inna al-lazina qalu rabbuna Allah, summa staqamu, tatanazzala alayhimu al-malaika, Allah takhafu, wa la ta'azanu, wa abshiru bil jannat al-lati kuntu'i tu'adun, nahnu awliyakum fil hayat.